So in a Houston airport, I think it was uh, Bush actually, uh, you had one of these Spirit Airlines workers talking to people, you know, about the rules and things like that. And uh, you know how I feel about Spirit Airlines, how that's just really the modern day version of Soul Plane, but let's go ahead and roll that. Another suitcase, that's the seat in front of you. If you got something that won't fit, we gonna have to check that. And guess what? If you don't check two bags over there at the counter, guess what you got to do? Give me a credit card. So it's gonna cost you seventy five dollars. Anybody don't understand that? Talk amongst yourself and explain it, cause I ain't gonna say it again. Any problems? Pray about it. It's gonna work out. Jamaica, whatever. Anywho, again, I'm Bernie, and as always, thank you for flying with us. Why? 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 Why do you want to be a walking stereotype? I don't get it. Like it, it just, you know, they always say stere some stereotypes got half truths in them, and this woman is literally made the stereotype true. Why you gotta be sassy? Why you gotta get everybody told? Why you gotta be so doggone loud? Why? Now the woman that's, you know, in the video recording, she's actually a news reporter, um, from, I, I know it's somewhere up North. I, it was in Detroit or somewhere. I kind of, my mind went blank on the actual place, but she's a news reporter. Actually, she was catching a flight, but that's why I don't fly spirit because I told y'all a long time ago, Certain price points attract certain people. Now, some people say, well, shoot, I'm just saving money. I'm good. I pay for the bags. Nah, look, I will pay an extra whatever not to be around uh, 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 that or having that crowd of people that get on spirit. No, I'm not doing it. You can call me whatever the hell you want to call me. I work for a living and, and I earn my money. I don't steal it from nobody. So with that being said, I'm going to pay for the airlines that I don't have to see or hear that. And it's like spirit just keep hiring those kind of people. I don't get it. I would not want that to be the representation of my airline. I don't see how that's okay. Even if it's a budget airline, why you got to have that? It, I mean, it's funny. I mean, I would have laughed at it because I remember in Atlanta, they had one like that too in Atlanta. And I, and I, I when I started to record, I, you know, she started doing it and I caught the tail end of it. I didn't catch the whole thing. Cause I would have posted that. Like, like why y'all gotta be trying to get everybody told, like just tell everybody what the rules are, say how much the bags are, all that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, ah, oh, man, they say one thing that needs to die within our community is that portion right there. That the, the attitude, the mouth, the sassiness, got to get everybody told. Like, leave, leave that at home. Tell your kids something. Not, not everybody else. Man, you know, about, be a freaking professional. I, I don't know. I just can't stand that. I, I guess because I, I think more business-minded, and I know being professional and, and, and courteous goes a long way. You know, e even if you work for a budget airline, it's still a certain way to talk to people. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this, man. It just... Uh, I can't stand Spirit Airlines.